This video was brought to you by Stoneberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? The ID bus is back, but this is the ID bus cargo. The one we tried earlier, that was actually called ID Bus Pro, which is the passenger version. So this one has no back seats. And in this video, we're gonna find out how many banana boxes can it take. Hmm? So the, the ID Bus Pro, which is the passenger version, could take 49 boxes. ENV 200 could take 50 boxes. They're quite similar in size, right? Those are the competitors. And then uh, the Volkswagen E-Crafter could take 156 boxes, but that was a lot bigger. So we'll be, I guess, comparing against uh, ENV 200. So let me show you guys the setup today. It's slightly different than normal. Wait, do we have do you have a kick sensor here? Okay, no such luck. But this one, okay, the the ID Bus Cargo comes in two door configuration. We have this one that goes up, and then we have the the out like this. Okay which is uh, better for when you load in uh, pallets. But I have uh, retrieved more banana boxes. So uh, I think this is uh, almost 40 boxes I <laughs> picked up. So we have enough boxes to fill up this uh, van. So right now it's not optimized. We have to do the whole packing eventually. But first I have to show you how much space we have. So I have to take out everything. But also in my garage, I don't know if you noticed, but I all, always store the regular banana boxes here. So these are the ones we use for uh, all the other tests where we have enough. I think you have roughly 25 boxes here, which would fit most cars. Uh, and here we have the EcoFlow also resting here. But uh, we will then supply these ones in the van and see how many we can take then. Okay, so we empty out the bus. Now let me show you. I guess this will be also a quick uh, interior view. Oh no, I've been leafed. Ugh, don't leave me. Okay, so um, outside it looks similar to the regular, the passenger ID bus, but uh, you will notice immediately when we enter here that we have not so nice seats. This is just manual seats, but we have three seats. Typical uh, van, you want a cargo van, you want to have enough carpenters or uh, plumbers in here. And Everything just looks a little bit cheaper, but also lots of hard plastic. Oh, my knuckles. Here, by the way, this is the equipment. Okay, let's show sure you how that. The ID bus, it's still the same drivetrain, the same battery. Uh, it starts at 452k nook, and then we add all the goodies, and we end up with 580k. Hmm. But I guess you could go for around 450 if you just want the, the bus, right? So um, what is different though is, oh, here, you see, we have nice storage at the front here for all your TPS reports. We also have 12 volt outlet there, finally. But not only do we have one 12 volt outlet there, no, 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 no. We have another one here. Well, this one, is this a cigarette? Whoa, this is a freaking cigarette. Do they even exist, man? You know, do you know how this works? Yeah, people, in the 60s and 70s, they were smoking something called cigarette, which is dangerous and cause cancer. It's really expensive. And it also bothers all the other people around you. And this is for lighting up the, the cigarette. So what you do is you, 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 you push it. Wait, it's gonna pop out, right? Wait, can it? Shit, okay. You push it, it heats up, and then, off, and then it pops out. Oh, don't touch that shit. It's freaking hot. Okay. Wow. So they actually included that one. And we still have USB-C here. Wireless charging pad here. Just like the Pro version. But uh, you have to spec up extra if you want to have charging pad. Otherwise, it's just a pouch for your shit there. So um, other than that, the rest of the car looks quite similar. Uh, this one, this one. I have to show you this one. You can open up. Well, I need to. All right, so you open up this one, and you see you have some storage here. Hmm. And you can see the seat here if you want to disconnect some shit. And here we have the tunnel. I'm going to show you. You can then put some really long items in here. And the back looks like this. We have this wall. Seems to be fairly insulated. Well, there's a little bit of hole opening there. And here is that hole. How deep is? Wow, it's quite deep. I could fist it. Oh yeah. 
So that's good because the length here is roughly two meters. And uh, we have quite powerful uh, or quite sturdy uh, securing hooks here. There and there, you see there? And then I can show on this side, more hooks here, also more hooks there. Uh, what is this? Huh. Ah, wait, is that for, uh, I think it's for uh, the, for emergency release of the of the charge port. And then here we have a uh, Anhaku Kupplung. Eh? You like that shit? And then one more. Zoop. It's not full admitted, but this is good enough. So we have flat floor. This is perfect for banana boxes. Uh, what did else? Okay, and also if it matters, we also have a travel outlet here. So this actually becomes like an interior view plus banana box test. That's probably what I'm gonna call it for. But uh, no windows here. Uh, everything here you see is stock except for this part here. There's some kind of roof thing that was installed in Norway and then they moved the lights further down. So it looks nicer. Some kind of, I don't know, cover insulation. But otherwise it could look something like this, I guess. So um, yeah, it is to maximize the space here and also to lower the weight of the car because then you have payload, I think it was around 600 something kilograms of payload in this one. So maybe not that much, but good enough for carpenters, right? So let's see now, um, how do I do this? Yeah, we just have to start loading the car with boxes. All right, we are done. So let me show you now. We fill the van to the max you know, I wonder when Volkswagen designed the ID bus, they were like, okay, guys, remember, we're gonna make it fit many, many banana boxes in Tesla Bjorn's test. <laughs> so, here and in the back, I could not fill it further out because then the back door wouldn't close. And then over here, you see, all the way to the top, I squeeze all the way to the roof. Yeah, actually. Uh, if we didn't have that extra roof, it would probably be slightly better, but this is good enough. So, and then I can show that because this has the wall, then it just looks like this. Okay. And as always, let's turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three, four. Fifty-six! <laughs> Fifty-six boxes! Huh? The ID bus has more space than EMV 200. Wow! And it can actually take more than the ID bus Pro. So, well, ID bus, yeah, cover, yeah. So there you have it. I guess if you could remove the seat on the ID bus Pro. I think, I, I haven't tried. Maybe you can. There was a red uh, tab. Then you can probably fit the same amount. Maybe even more, because then you don't have the wall. Hmm? So yes, what do you guys think, huh? Do you like this shit? Is this gonna be the new carpenter car the, for plumbers, for the, the craftsmen? Are they gonna love this car? Hmm? Is it approved? I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.